What's up, Illumineers? Welcome back to another Lorcana gameplay video here on Inkspot Games. And today, I'm going to be trying um, a deck I've actually been really enjoying. It's Emerald Steel, a more competitive build. And, like, I don't know. I've been liking it a lot. I wanted to share some gameplay with you guys. So, if you like this content, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and, yeah, let's just hop right into it. All right, so in this deck, we have we actually have a pretty perfect 30-30 uh, split here. We're going to run two, uh, sorry, four Flynn Rider, four Cheshire Cat, four Jasper, four Mother Knows Best, uh, four Emerald Hans, four Cusco, who is just insane, four Mad Hatter, and two Genie, who is a form of removal, um, four Hour Steel, we have four Captain Hook, four Smash, four Tinkerbell, small Tinkerbell, Four Steel Hans, four Whole New World, two Beasts to get rid of those pesky items, uh, four Grab Your Sword, and four Giant Tinkerbell. So yeah, let's hop into some games and see how we do. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go second. Um, ooh, ooh, man. Let's. I'm gonna get rid of all of these. Beast spawn those best. Hans is glued to our hand. Okay. At least we have our one drop to start. Mother knows best isn't the bad one either. Alright, they'll ink Hercules. They're running steel. They'll get the draw with Simba. All right, um, we'll ink one of the Hans. Let's play a Captain Hook and let's pass. I just love Captain Hook as a one drop because of his plus two challenger. Getting a one, three, two on your first turn is pretty good. It can handle most small, even if it's a trade, it can handle most uh, like other one or two drops that your opponent has. All right, so Sapphire Steel. All right, they'll play Aurora. And just pass. Let's ink Beast. And let's play another hook. We'll also pass. Just kind of staring at each other right now. One jump. Quest, do we have another play? Fire the cannons. All right, well, we'll at least take out the Aurora next turn. Ooh, Flynn Rider's pretty good. Um, but I'm actually gonna ink him so that we can play the Cheshire Cat. Let's get rid of the Aurora. And let's pass. Alright, we'll ink Simba. Detective Mickey is pretty good. Fire the Cannons is pretty good. Little quest. Alright, whole new world. Um, let's ink Jasper, let's play Hans, let's quest for two, and let's pass. Another Detective Mickey. So they're building up on resources, but they don't have a ton to use them for yet, because... They've had a rough opening hand, it seems like. Okay, they'll get rid of the cat, which will get rid of the Simba. They'll quest, and they'll pass, most likely. No inkable cards. Love to see it. Let's just quest. 
And of course, I'm one inkable away from playing a whole new world. I kind of like this spot we're in right now. I have faith is pretty good. So at least we'll have a better lore count. They'll tie it up here. Oh no, they'll take the lead. Yeah. Um. I'm actually gonna ink smash so that. Ah, but see, do I want to give him a new hand with the amount of resources they have? I kind of don't. I kind of don't. Instead, I know this will lead to them getting another resource. I want to stay. Mm. We're gonna mother knows best one of the Mickeys, and we'll quest and pass. But that at least puts us ahead for right now on the advantage of lore. Interesting. The quest for two. We'll draw. Um. I'm actually going to ink the Mad Hatter and play the Genie and bounce back the Starkey. And quest for three. Again, yeah, we're just staying ahead on our lore count here. Not giving them a ton of options. play him again surprised they're not playing the mickey to get more ink we'll quest for two smash all right um I think what I'm going to do is let's smash this guy, then let's sing, grab your sword. Then I'm just going to get rid of the Mickey. And we'll pass. Like, I'm holding on to this whole new world because it seems like their hand isn't that strong, and I don't want to give them a strong hand when we have a pretty strong board position here. We'll play Maleficent. It doesn't really help them right now. I mean, that's strong with Eye of Fates. They'll ink Aurora. We're just gonna Mother Knows Best to bounce that back. And we'll quest. This puts us in a winning position. Jasmine. 
play Mickey, but I think it's too little too late. Yeah. All right, we won the first game. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Next game, we're going second. Ooh, Cusco. Two Cusco. Ooh, okay. Um, we're gonna get rid of a Cusco. We're gonna get rid of these three, cause I want to keep the Tinker Bell. Oh, we got a Cusco back anyway. All right. So we don't have a one drop, but we at least have our Flynn Rider. So let's ink a hatter. And let's pass. Look at the Ruby, the ink the Pongo. Ruby Amber. Alright, let's ink this beast. Let's play Flynn Rider. Pass. So we can get this Tinkerbell out pretty pretty soon. Thinking Maui. Ursula's necklace. Um we're gonna ink this hatter. We're gonna play Tinkerbell. We're gonna quest for two. So we can get big Tinkerbell out here. Next turn if we want. Ink LeFou. Play Aladdin. Um. Yeah, let's ink Hans. Let's shift. And quest for four. Three Cusco's opening hand or first couple turns. Not ideal. But if I can get another Inkable and play him, I'm in a pretty strong spot. Alright, so they're going to get rid of the Flynn Rider. All right, play Hades, I guess get Aladdin back. Ink be our guest. All right, so we'll ink the Tinkerbell. Let's play Cusco. Let's quest for two. the Aladdin, take away a lore. I'm gonna grab your sword next turn. You can draw a card with the necklace to get Pongo. Um so let's play the Hans. Let's sing grab your sword. And let's quest for three. Link Gaston, they're in Aladdin territory. They'll play Pongo. We're going to get rid of the Pongo. And just kind of maintain more dominance here because we are in a winning position. Do they have the Be Prepared? Well, if they do have the Be Prepared, I have another Cusco for next turn. Nope. All right. Wow, that was that was pretty good. <laughs> okay. Um, two straight wins. Let's do one more and see how we do. All right, here we go. Last game. 
going second. Two smashes. Okay, we got Tinkerbell again. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um. Do we? Yeah. All right, we got a whole new world. I like this hand a little better. We don't have Hook or Flynn, but that's okay. All right, we're going up against Amethyst. Science see with the ink there. Okay, we'll just ink the Hans, and we'll pass. See what they can do. Well, Ink Maui, so Ruby Amethyst. Okay. Let's ink the Hatter and let's pass. Ink Dr. Facilier, they're at three ink. Okay. Quest with Pascal. Um. Let's ink Hans. Let's play Tinkerbell. And let's pass. that we can shift in the big Tinkerbell next turn. We'll ink for Cilier, that puts him at four. Play Magic Mirror. Um. Let's ink Jasper. Let's shift Tinkerbell. To get rid of the Pascal. And let's quest for two. And pass. All right, they're keeping up a pretty good ink count here. Aladdin, okay. Now, do they quest with Maleficent? No. Probably the right move. Um. I'm just gonna go ahead and ink smash to play the Hans. And we're on a pass. I wouldn't be surprised if they had the big um, Aladdin here. Ink Maleficent. Play Maleficent. But grab your swords would be lovely right now. Grab your swords would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, Mother knows best. Let's play Cusco. Do we whole new world here?
Yeah. We're in a whole new world. There's grab your swords. Um, ooh, beast will be very helpful. Let's ink Tinkerbell. Let's quest for three. And let's pass. Beast is a good one. Grab your swords is a good one. Because we can just clear their board, essentially. They're going to quest. Which tells me I wouldn't be surprised if they had to be prepared. Yeah, here it comes. Yep. That's not the worst thing in the world to happen. Um, I'm going to ink Jasper. We're going to play Beast to get rid of the Magic Mirror. We're going to play Flynn Rider. And we're going to pass. So they at least lose some draw power. Eight. Maui. No friends. Um, let's ink Tinkerbell. What's us at eight? Let's play Hans. Let's play Cat. Let's quest for four. Let's pass. Elsa is annoying. Man, is Elsa annoying. We'll get rid of the beast. One ink left. They got Maleficent. We're just going to grab your sword. We're then going to smash and we're just going to quest with Flynn and pass. So they're in the Maleficent Dragon territory. All right, two drop Maleficent, two dro uh, or one drop Maleficent. Oh my gosh. Jeez, where's my other grab your sword? If I get another grab your sword here and clear this board. Beast. Okay, so. We'll play beast. Let's just bounce back one of these Maleficents. Um, let's get rid of the Elsa, and let's go ahead and quest. Oh, grab your sword would be so good right here, oh my gosh. So technically, two, five, 
I am in a winning spot here, so they have to do something. One of their cards is Maleficent. We don't know what the... Aladdin... Three... Five... Seven... Still in the winning spot here, I say. They have to get rid of... Something. Get rid of the cat, which will bash the Maleficent. And we'll get rid of the Hans. Okay. They'll play their Maleficent. That's pretty good, too. Let's quest for two and pass. Start the Hans. They're going to try to get rid of them. I imagine, yeah. Makes sense. Another Elsa. All right, we got a Cheshire Cat. Let's quest for two. We got another Aladdin. Go after the beasts. Get rid of them. Captain Hook. Quest for two. Let's pass. Let's see what they got. Dry oh, what a draw. Dragon fire. Oh my gosh, what a draw. Game saving. But we get another Cheshire Cat. Let's get rid of the Aladdin just in case they draw the shift Aladdin. Here we go. Another dragon fire, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me, okay. Captain Hook. Two dragon fires in a row, huh? Oh my gosh. All right. Can they get rid of them? Oh, they got friends. Oh my gosh, another friends. They'll play my left side to draw one more. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oof, that man, that was getting sketchy in the end there. If the, I mean, at that point, it turned into a top tech war. But, all right, we won three straight games. Not bad. I really enjoy this deck. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, pretty like mid rangey, but it can really blow out your opponent's board, too. Um, so, yeah, this was Emerald Steel. Again, if you like this gameplay, be sure to like, subscribe, and Illumineers. I'll see you on the next one. Later.